G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Cold Waters with Mags and welcome back aboard the Alpha Class Nuclear Attack Submarine Tiger. So, last episode, we sunk an SX Class carrier while we were hunting for a carrier. Only it turned out to not be the carrier we were actually after. So that was great, that was free tonnage and I'm completely fine with that kind of a, uh, a missed target. However, this time I think we might have the real one. So we've just been taken, uh, just intercepted a surface fleet. Uh, conditions, we are not far from where we were before. We're still in over 3,000 feet of water. We're still in over two th uh, over th uh, three thousand feet of water at this point in time. We're still uh, just off the coast of Norway, in the middle of the North Sea. Um, actually, I'm going to do this the easy way. I think bearing two seven two two six eight one eight one seven two seven five two six eight. Alright, let's go periscope depth and just get identification on all of these. I, just, I need to confirm very quickly what they are, because they are bloody close. And there is also stuff that we can't see, so we'll start... Yeah, we'll start at 280, and swing our check to 172. Current depth, 35. Scope up. Whoa, we are picking up everything in the world here at the moment. Alright, that's it. Drop and dive. Go to a thousand feet. What have we got? We've now identified a narwhal, Perry, Nimitz, a sprue, and I have no idea what these are. And yes, we're already getting helicopters launched. And these guys are close, so yep, we, we, we're going. This is on. This is on. I should have had the torpedoes already set. Active sonar on all. All torpedoes set to surface run. Narwhal, what's that at? Conditions. I know it's there, I just don't know what it is. Okay, fine. Search on the narwhal. pick up on the the Nimitz and I'm gonna drop those torps and start reload straight away. And just for funsies we going to send off a moss as well so as we turn south hopefully we won't have to worry about getting shots fired at us set new depth 2000 all right so while we're at it let's try and identify these ones if we can I'm guessing surface ships. Oh. oh. Okay, that one we've actually got something we can work with. On, torpedo room two, two, ready.
they can't get a good identifier on that one, so I'm going to leave them as is. Torpedoes have just started disappearing. We can't pick them up anymore. Currently at heading towards 1,200 feet. I'm just going to stay. A little bit of time acceleration and see where these go. These are not looking good though. Alright, so we have countermeasures being popped. Torpedo has picked something up over here. We may have just snagged ourselves the narwhal. Nimitz is turning away, which is good. She's going to turn in the path of the torpedoes, hopefully. The Perry appears to be over here now. and might pick up one of the stragglers, and we have torps that are going all over the place here, so... Boom, we got the Perry. Unfortunately, it looks like the Perry has managed to countermeasure and pick up. There's a missile deployed. Torpedoes. Where is that landing? Hopefully, nowhere near me. Yep, no any me, all the way over there. Okay, that's fine. Ah, oh, I think the Perry wreck is acting like a giant countermeasure. It's eating everything. I reckon that's what my next torpedo is coming for as well. Yep, there it is. Well, this poor bastard's getting punished, but that's not what I had in mind. Alright, so let's have a look at the Nimitz. Which isn't a Nimitz, of course. Actually, using the same model as the SX did, so... Oh well, it is a mod, that's fine. It looks like one torpedo may have acquired, so hopefully that'll be enough to disable it. Point nine kilyards. Alright, so our new torpedoes are up. These ones, we're at 2,000 feet. We're going to keep them at 2,000 feet. Okay. That's up here, so there's something else up in here. So it might be the narwhal. Narwhal may actually be here. Yes, the narwhal is actually here. Why is the narwhal on the surface? Have I seriously scared this thing out of the water? Why is it on the surface? Why is it pretending to be a boat? You're a submarine! Get under the water! So torpedo impact on the Nimitz, so that should slow it down nicely as well. So torpedo missed on the narwhal again, and it may have picked up on the moss. So while we have it, we should probably... Ah, uh, no. How many torpedoes do we have left? Currently three, well two in the tubes, one loading, and three left in storage, and that's it. So that's a, yeah, ma maybe. We can hope that does something. Uh, the Nimitz is not slowing down. Not by, not even close. Yeah, quite more. 
boss. So now War's going to make an escape for the moment. We'll deal with her in a second. We just need to hit the capital ship first because that's our primary sink Nimitz. And we can play with the rest as we see fit. At least on the upside at the moment, despite our interesting start, they don't seem to know exactly where we are. So Nimitz is currently doing 27 knots, which is below a 30 knot main speed, but not by a lot. So we didn't actually drop a speed a lot with that torpedo hit. It has slowed it down a little though. So hopefully this torpedo is actually going to turn around and reacquire the narwhal. Uh, it's searching, it's going to snake this way. Actually at risk of it potentially detecting us, although it should be relatively shallow. It's surface running. Oh, we're at 2,000 feet, so we should be okay. Yeah, now war's going to be out of the way by the time that thing hits the surface, so... That's why we can hear Nimitz, even with our crappy sonars. She's doing 28 knots now. Twenty-eight knots and running. All right, so a little bit more time acceleration as torpedoes get into position here. She's trying to turn back around, which is brave. Narwhal's coming back this way. Why would you do that? Hopefully, this torpedo will actually pick you up. And why are you still on the surface for? Jesus. I've seen um, I've seen submarines do this before. You no, know, it's disappeared. I've seen submarines do this before in cold waters, but it almost always happens when they've taken damage and they run to the surface because they can't maintain depth underneath but they're, they're not bad enough to be sunk but she didn't appear to have any damage all right circling around will it pick up let's see Torpedo runs straight. Hopefully these are close enough they can actually pick it up, but otherwise they should accelerate once they hit here. So first torp will be just about to activate. And live. And not quite close enough, but that's fine. Depths here. And that should be relatively close. It did. There we go. That's the narwhal down, so the torpedo came off of our moss that we fired earlier on as a countermeasure and reacquired the uh, reacquired the narwhal and sunk it. I'm not sure if it took. Okay, I'm not sure if it took damage before or not. I'm really not sure, but I'll take that. Now, what depth are you at? Torpedo two. Torpedo 2 is still running deep, so we'll bring it up to the surface as well. Looks like Torpedo 1 has acquired the Nimitz, and it's already taken one hit, so it should take three. That should be shallow enough now. So Perry's down, Narwhal's down. Nimitz will be down shortly. Sprue is next. I'll have to deal with that sprue. There we 
we go. Two has acquired. So hopefully, how much life those torpedoes got left in them? Eight minutes and seventeen. Eight minutes and twenty-six. That should be fine. So we should be able to change direction here and start getting ready to intercept the sprue. So I wouldn't mind sinking everything at this point. Right, time acceleration off. How far away are we? Not far, right in the wake. Comes one. the last one this should be the one that finishes it off wait what it didn't It's got a torpedo hit here, torpedo hit here. Alright, I am very confused. The current speed's down to 18 knots though, so that's not so bad. Alright, so we have two sprues over here that we've got to deal with, because I want these guys taken care of. And then we're going to have to go and hunt down that Nimitz. We're going to run out of torpedoes on this one, but if we can sink two, two aircraft carriers, that will be fine. Ow! God, those active sonar pings are getting nasty loud. That wasn't mine either. Alright, so a little time acceleration. What the hell hit the sprue? I didn't have any other torpedoes out there. Did they just friend they just friendly fired themselves? No way known. Get torpedo four. Back on target and acquired. Yeah, there's no way known that um it's firing torpedoes. firing at the um those things have wildly loud sonars Yeah, no, that's the moss though. So I have no idea what it just fired that torpedo at. Eh? 
chuck this torpedo over the countermeasures on this side and it'll catch the sprue as it comes out the other side just in case it dodges and then we have to go get Nimitz that should be it then on auto track god there's a lot of wreckage here there's me with three torpedoes left I don't think oh, I might have one reload remaining it's gonna counter measure in a second there it goes that disengages four hold Turn five in. Gone, fire control, one Release five. Point. Yeah, gotcha. One more torpedo than we actually needed, but we did take you out, so. Four tried to turn away, but there's no point, and I would rather turn this fourth torpedo. Speed, 41 knots. And let's get after her. Now we're not going to be able to track her even at the speed she's running at for too long. Or maybe she will, she's a big loud monster. No, there we go, we've lost her. Well, that's fine, we should be able to require a pretty easy. It's just a matter of getting close enough that we don't have to worry about the uh, the torpedoes running out of distance. They are down to four minutes when we fired last time. Now, yep, we've only got one extra torpedo remaining. So, with that, that's all we've got. That is all we have left. Actually, I think we've got... No, we don't have any moss either. So that's all of our moss out. We've got the one moss in the tubes and four torps. That's it. Come right to two, two, two. Help. Right, now at her speed, she should not have gotten too far. I suspect she'll be down here somewhere, maybe a little bit further, but not too far out. We're closing the distance on her at about, well, not quite, but getting up to four times the speed. So, go to silent. Where is she? There she is. Still heading a straight line. Time acceleration off. And arm um, surface running, and we're just going to fire one more this time. Torpedo away. Shots from the rear didn't take her out last time, so I'm going to try and bring the torpedo past and make sure it hits her in the side rather than uh, directly from the rear. She's still at 18. Now the torpedo is away and is unspooling. I'm going to increase my speed. No, not 20. Just make speed for 10. I 
we always make sure it is a little bit behind so it picks up if the wire breaks. Yeah, active torpedo and it's set to surface running. little time acceleration now once again it's just to cut down on the time to get the torpedoes in because at this point the slaughter is just about complete I am curious about what S3 and S2 are but considering there's been no active pings from those and nothing has decided to try and engage us I don't think they're warships maybe trawlers maybe uh, uh, commercial traffic merchants um, could be biologics as well We've got a couple of whales floating around, or at least one, so could be biologics. So I'm not too concerned. If they were pinging, that would be an issue. Alright. Keep going up and straight. I'll take manual control once you've closed in enough to hit it in the side and make sure this one kills it. So even as close a range as we fired at then, it's still 5 minutes and 58 seconds remaining on this torpedo. This is still fair distance out. This is a, a currently 13 kiloyard shot. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra 9, last bearing. Sierra 5 minutes on time, but that may have been what happened. I may have actually miscounted exactly how much time I had left. And instead of um, hitting the target when I thought the target was going to hit, I actually ran out of fuel right before impact. Maybe. Uh, so, we're going to run it straight, get up around the side, and then manually turn this one in. Somewhere up here in the bow should end it. So at this point we leave combat, we got Perry 1984, we got the Sprue, we got the Nimitz, we got the Narwhal, we got the other Sprue, we've got three U-Set 80s remaining on board and that is the end of our torpedoes at this point. So I'm hoping once again we get orders to go back and resupply because we're going to need them. So, Tiger K481, Commander Atlantic Submarine Force, Red Banner Northern Fleet, Subject Mission Update, VFM H uh, HQ Moscow sends my personal congratulations to Comrade Nikolai Magzinov and crew for delivering this crucial blow to enemy naval forces. In the honor of service of your commander, you will see it... Uh, we'll see to it that we, crew and all, will have a drink when Tiger returns to... Okay, returns back. No, that's just worded weirdly. Um, she ends new orders to be sent on downlink soon. Alright, so apparently they're pretty happy with the fact that we got the Nimitz, and they should be really happy with the fact that we also got the, uh, the SX, so I can't wait to see my tonnage at the end of this. And newspaper article. Carrier sunk. NATO carrier battle group... Uh, reported to be operating somewhere in the Norwegian Sea has come under sudden and severe attack. The Pentagon confirmed that several ships, including the carrier, succumbed to overwhelming missile strikes. No missiles were involved and were lost during the action. Details remain incomplete, but initial numbers of personnel lost or unaccounted for are high. Carrier ops too risky. In light of this recent major defeat, questions have been raised as to whether or not carrier operations can be effectively carried out. Many in Congress are calling for the withdrawal of carriers from all contested warners, complaining the risks are simply too high. Well, they've lost an Essex and a Nimitz in the space of a day. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe that's worth considering. Maybe don't, uh, don't put the carriers in point-blank range to where hostile submarines can be operating. Yeah, just, just a thought. Alright, mission orders. Tactical situation return immediately to Murmax, Soviet Union for repairs and to replenish stores. So I'm getting about two missions out of these torpedoes. <laughs> Alpha really needs bigger stores. But anyways, ladies and gents, hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching. Cold Waters will be returning to the channel in the very near future. And until next time, remember to click that like button if you did, share and subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, 
Take care.